Hi there and welcome to our third video of the Pre-Growth Club series. In this one we're going to be running through uh, goal setting. You know, if you haven't set goals before, which quite often uh, a lot of people haven't done that before, we're going to run you through two main things, why you want to do it and secondly the how. I'll give you a couple of tools so you can get off to a, a quick start before Growth Club. So firstly, on, uh, on the why. Well there's one main reason that you want to set, uh, set goals. One main reason. And it's called your RAS, or Reticular Activating System. Uh, that's your part of your brain that helps you filter information to find answers if you like. Think about, uh, I'll give you an illustration, think about a time when you're looking to buy a new car or you just bought a new car, and all of a sudden you start seeing that car everywhere where you didn't see it before. Well that's your reticular activating system filtering out and noticing bits of information that previously you wouldn't have noticed. So same when you set a goal, when you have a written goal, if something that you want to achieve or something you want to um, strive for, your brain starts to find answers, solutions, pieces of information that are going to help you achieve that goal. So it's really important that we define what the goal is and we write it down and focus on it and look at it regularly. And that's obviously a big part of what Growth Club is all about. So now the how. The how, before we get into the details of the how, I'm just going to show you a quick, uh, a quick tool. To achieve your goals or achieve success, whatever that means for you, there's four key components that go into that. Number one is, is the dream or the big thought that starts off with the, uh, you know, the pie in the sky, if you like, the ideal life or the ideal business, whatever, whatever that may be. From that, you translate to more tangible goals, and that's what we're going to talk about in this clip. So this is arriving at the goal, and then these two, the planning and the execution of the action, is the implementing the goal to achieve success. So there's a little, um, a little exercise for you now. Go through and rank yourself out of 10, how you stack up in each of these four areas. And obviously the maximum score we can get here is out of 10,000. So then multiply your score out and see what you come up with. The idea being, have a look at where your lower scores are, and that might be one of the areas to look at to, um, to achieve or to greater increase your level of success. See, some people are great at planning, great at, um, at taking the action, but they don't set really big goals, like they're pretty easy to achieve, and hence don't give them a lot of satisfaction. But whereas some people are really great at the dream and seeing the big goals, but not so good at the planning and then the, the execution of it. So the dreaming, it might seem like a funny thing to have up there, but it is really important that you can expand your thinking and start thinking bigger and bigger things to go after. Because as you go after bigger and bigger goals, you stretch yourself and you grow as a person, and you can achieve more and more things in your life and have greater levels of success. So they're the four key things, but in terms of goals, so we're focusing on goal setting with regard to a 90 day plan or a one year plan for your business. So I'm going to suggest when it comes to your business, there are three key areas you might like to look at. And they're going to be time, team and money. And quite honestly for most people it's going to revolve around the money, around the profitability or the revenue or the growth of the business. So what you want to have a look at is, okay, within each of these three things, time, it could be the number of hours you're working, um, team, it could be how big your team is, how efficient your team is, how well they get along, level of communication, I'm not sure. But um, you want to get a goal that's drafted out and written down that measures up to this acronym, the SMART acronym, and that stands for specific. So it has to be well defined. You have to have clarity around what the goal is. And a good way of knowing if it's specific is, is it measurable? You know, what you can measure, you can easily track your progress on and know if you're doing enough of or not enough to get towards the goal you're looking for. Achievable. This one's uh, interesting. Achievable can mean different things to different people. At the end of the day, this comes down to what's your level of belief in the goal you've got for yourself. If you've got a business right now that's doing, say, half a million dollars in revenue and you've got a one-year goal to be a $10 million business, well, you know, that might not be achievable in your mind. It might be a great goal, might be a nice dream, but when you sit down and you think about it, in the back of your mind there's a little voice saying to you, there's no way you're going to get that done. Then that's not really an achievable goal for you. There might be others who are at five and they can get to 50. I mean, who knows, right? But the key thing, achievable, it's undefinable, but it is definable for an individual. Right, so for you, what's your level of believability in your goal? A results oriented really ties into the measurable and specific, like making sure you're going for a definable result. Um, and the last one, time frames. 
obviously a goal is not a goal unless there's a specific time frame that you're working towards for that goal to be achieved. If you say, hey, I want to grow a, a $5 million business but with no time frame, well, you can go on for the rest of your life achieving that goal and never really know if you're going to get there or not. So a time frame is, is very important. So on your, uh, actually in your 90 day workbook, which is here, pages uh, 10 and 11 that had the examples of a strategy page, you'll see at the top there, there's a couple of examples of what a goal can look like. And you can start to see how specific they need to be and, uh, and written out. Uh, actually, in your 90, sorry, your 12 month workbook that you're going to get on the day of Growth Club, this one here, there's going to be a page in there that's going to clearly outline to you how do you know if you've got a goal, what's the definition of a goal. And really, the definition of a goal is it's the result. It's what you want to have at the end of the, the time period um, to, to bring meaning or success to you. So that's about it. Again, if you've got uh, any questions on this stuff, you're not clear on uh, what I've gone through, by all means, send us an email or pick up the phone and call us. But the main thing is you start to think about what those goals need to be for you prior to uh, arriving at Growth Club um, on the day. And therefore, you'll be, be able to spend that time just critiquing the goal and getting it solidified and then be planning your strategies and your tasks from there. So I look forward to seeing you at Growth Club and make it a great day.